Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Vauxhall has announced it will build its new van at the company's Luton factory, safeguarding 1,400 jobs. The new Vivaro van will replace the current model from next year. Vauxhall's French owner, PSA, says it has made the investment despite Brexit uncertainties. But the Unite Union says there is still a cloud hanging over Vauxhall's Ellesmere port plant. Our business editor, Simon Jack, reports from Luton. The future of Vauxhall's two UK plants here in Luton and Ellesmere Port has been a concern ever since Vauxhall became part of the Peugeot Citroen family when PSA bought General Motors' European business. The boss of PSA has previously said Brexit uncertainty would delay major investment decisions. So what has changed? We have a strong performance plan for the plant that we are now going to implement to give the plant the possibility to catch up in terms of cost and quality competitiveness with all the other European continental plants. He's also feeling more confident about an eventual Brexit deal. I think there is a common interest that uh, this deal will be supporting the interest of both parties and that therefore there is a good probability that something looking like a frictionless trade deal will be made. The government will contribute £9 million to a total investment of over £100 million. Currently, Luton can produce up to 70,000 vans a year. The extra investment will mean that goes up to 100,000. Industry insiders say this was the main attraction. Luton's the only plant with a paint facility compatible with the models PSA want to make, which begs a question over the level of government support. They've been very good at extracting public money for you for something they were going to do anyway. These, these big automotive investments, and we're talking about over £100 million, you know, making sure that this is going to be here for long into to the future, these are highly competitive um, uh, investments. Uh, you know that there is great competition uh, between uh, other plants across Europe and around the world. This is obviously great news for Vauxhall and the 1,400 people who work here in Luton. The life cycle of those vans is 10 to 15 years, so those jobs are secure to 2029 and beyond. The same is not necessarily true of Ellesmere Port, which is 200 miles in that direction, who are waiting to find out whether they will build the new Astra and whether it will secure that plant's future. Union leaders say efforts to protect the 1,200 jobs at risk in the northwest are already underway. It's very critical, made it clear to the company that Luton doesn't stand alone. Uh, it's Luton and Ellesmere Port and um, negotiations are taking place and I'm confident that we'll reach a position that will secure the long-term future for Ellesmere Port. That decision will be made in 2020. Time, say PSA, for Ellesmere Port to improve its efficiency and for there to be greater clarity on Brexit. Simon Jack, BBC News. Here, the man who controls the future of two huge vehicle plants in Britain has guaranteed the future of one, but not the other. The chairman of Vauxhall's French owners today announced plans to build a new van at Luton, safeguarding 1,400 jobs there. But he couldn't do the same for the car factory at Ellesmere Port. Well, our business editor, Joel Hills, is here. So explain him what's going on. Well, look, uh, sales of new cars, Mary, are on the slide, but sales of vans are booming. It's all this online shopping. It all needs uh, delivering. Now, PSA spies an opportunity. It owns Vauxhall. It's decided to revamp uh, the Vivaro van and ramp up production, and it's chosen Luton to do it. Now, in theory, it could have chosen to build these new vans anywhere in Europe. In practice, Luton already builds vans. It's the obvious place to build more vans. That said, the government is stumping up £9 million of taxpayers' money and has promised PSA, Mary, that trade between the Britain and the EU will be tariff-free and frictionless post-Brexit. That was enough in this case to secure the deal. The question is, what will it take to save Ellesmere? Today, the boss of PSA told me that that factory, every car that rolls off the production line loses money. A decision will be taken on it by 2020, but he says it will only survive if certain conditions are met. So, first condition is the performance plan to be implemented. The second condition is that, of course, we have a frictionless trade. Uh, or something that looks like that. But you cannot guarantee the factory will remain open? I can guarantee that we are going to work together to, to give the plant the best competitiveness possible.
That's no guarantee, Mary, as it stands. The future's in your hands. Be more productive. Now, Ellesmere Port looks really bleak. 600 jobs have been lost since the takeover. They're down to one shift. That's clearly not sustainable. But great news for Luton. This is, I think, a vote of confidence in Britain post-Brexit of sorts. OK. Joel Hill, thanks very much. 1,400 British jobs have been secured well into the next decade after Vauxhall's French parent family said its new van would be built in Luton. PSA said it was making the investment despite the uncertainty over Brexit, secured after talks with unions and the government, including a British financial contribution worth £9 million. Tom Clark has this report. There's a long history of making vans at Vauxhall's plant in Luton. They're not called Bedford anymore. Internet shopping and next day delivery mean the more racy sounding Vivaro is now rolling through the plant faster than ever. Last year they made 56,000 of these vans. Now PSA Group want to increase capacity to 100,000. Guaranteeing 1,400 jobs here for at least the next 10 years. Our growing business uh, requires more high quality desirable vans to meet our customers demands which we can produce here at our Luton plant with our skilled workforce. It took a £9 million sweetener from the taxpayer to secure the investment and strong reassurances to the European car maker that trade would be tariff-free and frictionless post-Brexit. Business Secretary Greg Clark was there to celebrate. The company uh, have, uh, have decided to make a major investment based on the confidence of the business environment uh, here uh, in the UK and including big uh, uh, vote of confidence in the, the successful workforce here. But scratch the paintwork and you'll find this deal is a bit more complicated. This paint shop in the Luton plant is the largest PSA has in Europe and with 15% growth in van sales, expansion was urgent and Luton fitted the bill. What we learned today is that the future of its other British plant Ellesmere Port in Cheshire with 1,200 jobs will be decided in 2020 and a free trade Brexit is a must. first condition is the performance plan to be implemented. The second condition is that, of course, we have a frictionless trade uh, or something that looks like that. And this is exactly what we will be able to see by 2020 because, fortunately, at that point in time, the outcome of Brexit will be known. So it's a perfect meeting point for the performance from one side and for the outcome of the Brexit from the other will side. Here in Luton, at least, brand new Brexit proof vans will start rolling off the line by the middle of next year. Tom Clark at Vauxhall in Luton. Welcome back. You're watching the press preview with me now, Andrew Pierce and Kevin Maguire. And we're going to turn to the Financial Times, uh, gentlemen, and uh, a good news story uh, for Vauxhall. It's so. great, actually, yep. because there was a lot of speculation this van was going to be transferred to Poland or another EU country by all the doom and gloom people like Maguire, presumably, the Ramonas who thought uh, it would go abroad <sighs> because we're leaving the European Union. Well, it's staying uh, in Vauxhall's Luton plant. Uh, the French owner of Peugeot have made that decision. A £100 million investment, and it means probably up to 400 new jobs, which is terrific. It is. It's great news. Uh, Vivaro, uh, they're called now. It used to be Bedford Vans. But uh, interesting, we had to pay them £9 million quid to, uh, to do this expansion. Also, they have a guarantee of tariff-free trade. It's Frictionless trade with there'll the EU. So let's see. Lot, let's see how that's going to be. But, 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 but what's interesting? But what's interesting is investment, according to the EFT here, investment across the sector, the motor sector, has halved over the past two years to 1.1 billion, but it hasn't dried up completely. So it is. It has slowed. This is good news, but the investment has slowed. And PSA, the uh, parent company of Vauxhall, saying that Brexit still remains a concern. But yeah. if you wait for everyone to decide if it's the right time to invest, the only thing you're sure about is it is too late. So they're taking a gamble? They, they are, but, you know, it's good. It's good for, good one for the jobs. workers who'll get those jobs.